Hi there, this is Pete Howard, Director of Concert Posters for Heritage Auctions. And man, take a look at this one. Elvis Presley in the spring of 1955 as an opening act. Oh my goodness. Monday night, May 9th of 55 in Fort Myers, Florida. And uh, there he is in the middle of the poster and the top of the poster, this country music caravan, is Farron Young. Now, of course, there's Farron Young's picture. Now, that has real significance for this as not a country poster, but an Elvis poster, because Elvis, of course, was on Sun Records from the middle of 54 to the end of 55. And this is the only concert poster with Elvis as a Sun Records artist that has a picture of anyone. All the others, and Heritage has sold a couple before, there are very few and far between, just have the, the print and nothing else, no photos. So the fact this has a nice photo of the headliner just is an extreme sweetener for this very rare poster. So I'm really tickled about that, as are poster collectors, of course, in general. So uh, Elvis, there he is, third build, and uh, he had never touched the Billboard charts yet with his country records. You know, 55 was the year of country music for Elvis. But, um, you know, baby, let's play house, and I'm left, you're right, she's gone. Um, had been released a month before this show and then would enter Billboard's chart two months afterwards in July and it would go all the way to number five on the National Billboard Country Chart. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize Elvis had a, two big hits, national hits on the country charts before he went to RCA Records and took off with rock and roll. So, yeah, that's right. In fact, um, so I just mentioned the single that went to number five well, after that, I forgot to remember to forget, went to number one nationally, but on the country charts. So Elvis was already sort of an established star in country, but he was only on the launching pad for taking off and changing the world with his rock and roll starting in early 56. Now, interestingly, I have a personal history with this poster. It's very close to my heart in two different ways. <laughs> um, I actually liberated this a long time ago, a generation ago, from the original owner, Joan Lacey, whose husband promoted the show. And I dealt with Joan and her son Chris as well, and that was a long time ago, and I ended up enjoying it for a few years and then trading it away. And lo and behold, the way Full Circle works in this world, here I am at Heritage, and it comes in through a consignment. So that's really, you know, a fun history and providence for this. So, you know, of course, it's, it's, it's old and weathered, but, you know, the, all the, the naturals are, right, the real ones. Um, you know, it's funny, we have to remember these things were created and made to last for six weeks, you know, and here we are, goodness, you know, 67 years later, holding it up as a museum piece. And so, um, I'm just glad they weren't made of paper that, you know, destroyed itself after half a century or something. It's still, uh, you know, it's still a good piece of cardboard and still with us, thank goodness. You gotta love the Bill and Scotty on here. Um, you know, they were known, of course, as Scotty and Bill. Scotty Moore on electric guitar and Bill Black on stand-up bass. It would still be a few months before drummer DJ Fontana joined them. So, but the, for some reason the names got reversed on here and it says Bill and Scotty and I wonder if the boys, at, the Blue Moon boys, actually joked about that at the time. So, um, this was, uh, yeah, this was, if you saw the new Elvis movie, and I certainly did more than once, um, in movie theaters. Uh, this was part of the three-week Hank Snow tour and this was sort of a breakaway show where only half the people from that tour came to Fort Myers and did this night. And that's why, of course, you have Farron Young as the headliner instead of Hank Snow. But uh, it's part of that three-week tour which the movie covers pretty nicely and which is just uh, thrilling for fans of early Elvis Presley. Great poster, amazing piece, super rare as I said, and the only Elvis Presley concert poster from his Sun Records era, which changed rock and roll forever, even before I got to RCA, to have a photo of anyone. All the others are plain block, block print. So, Anyway, to see more pictures and read great detail about it, just go to our website and it'll be listed under the auction itself, coming on November 12th, and that would be ha.com slash 7297.